It's the radio segment that didn't lie when he told the dentist he flossed. He just wasn't referring to his teeth. Oh, God. It's laser stories. I don't even know. The segment where we read weird news stories from around the globe, just like everybody else does, except we have a laser, and those other tuna pancakes just don't. This first laser story is out of Huron, Ohio. A 60-year-old woman called the cops around 1.30 a.m. last weekend when her neighbor wouldn't stop blasting rock music. Okay. The neighbor <laughs> is a 40-year-old named Nathan Rock, if yeah. you can believe his it. His name is that, Nathan Rock? That's his name. Like, Shut up! I was born for this. And so when the cops went to his door, Nathan opened it up while he was jamming the guitar and asked the deputies <laughs> what they wanted. <laughs> When the officers asked him to lower the music, Nathan told them he couldn't turn down the volume because, quote, you can't play Led Zeppelin quietly. (laughs) Mr. Rock has a very good point. Then he went into a sick guitar solo in front of them. And he began singing along. So cops told him again to turn down the music, but Nathan said it wasn't possible because even though right now he works at Wendy's, he told the officers he was trying to practice as he intended on booking studio time in the near future. You know what? That is a rock and roll story. Because he wants to record an epic album. Yeah, he does. Aw, says Alexis. Yeah, you know, it's it's inspiring. Oh, okay. So when guys tell you that they're in a rock band, you still think that that's cool, Alexis. Okay, well, they don't relate back to me. It's cool for him. Check out my mixtape. She's like, cute. Yeah. 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 Aw, that's that's sweet. This next laser story is out of Mar La Plata, Argentina. Mar La Plata. About 20 couples got together at a farm over the weekend for an underground swingers party. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. That's a different type of farm than I was expecting. (laughs) But they didn't have permission to hold a party with that many people during the health crisis, so the cops showed up. Oh, yeah. I can't do that right now. And they just thought it was part of the show? Like, oh, hey, you guys ordered strippers, too? Let's go. When the police arrived, the people at the party thought they were the strippers. One of the cops says a woman even pulled him aside and whispered, quote, look at your eyes. You're getting me warm. Oh, yeah. Yo, and at this rambunctious party, if you're like, no, I'm really a cop, they're like, oh, that's even hotter. Oh my God. <laughs> and that's the thing with these swingers parties. They don't discriminate. No. Any, because you don't like the cops who always show up at my house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leave your clothes on, sir. As the crowd swarmed around them, the two officers pulled out their batons to a raucous, yeah, cheering crowd. Yeah, they did. And it got them even more more excited. <laughs> They're like, hey, people are like, get me her, sir. This isn't working, Officer Petty. In the Please end. What do we do? I think the patrons were finally convinced because they all received citations for oh. violating COVID protocols. And not spankings? No. <laughs> That's the least sexy thing you can get. <laughs> They're like, wow, you are really committing to this character. <laughs> he knows the codes and everything. Wow. And the owner of the farm is going to be looking at a $5,000 fine. Oh, man. That wasn't very fun, was it? This next laser story is out of Sweet Treat Headquarters. Yay! If you need more proof we treat our pets like actual kids, here you go. Ben and Jerry's just launched two new ice cream flavors made specifically for dogs. What? Whoa. That's so cool! Yeah, I like that. Uh-huh. They're called doggy desserts. Aww. And instead of dairy, they use sunflower butter as the base so it's easier on dogs' tummies. Oh, my God. Oh, I love yeah. that. Or anyone that's lactose intolerant. <laughs> But they make other bro- things. In yeah, I know. You don't need to start getting to the dog treats. <laughs> Talk to me. Talk okay. to me about what's in these things. Well, what it's flavors been do they have? You guys. There's a peanut butter and pretzel called Ponches Mix. Oh, Aww. come on. That sounds delicious. It does. Oh. It and does. a cookie and pumpkin combo called Rosie's Batch. All right, pumpkin oh. Did you say oh. pumpkin? I told you, Alexis. <laughs> well, what's interesting about this one is the packaging that they went with. Because it looks exactly like normal Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Oh, so no. So just be careful when you're no. reaching into that freezer. Dude, anytime I buy, anytime I buy Ben & Jerry's, I am not sober. So yeah, this scares me. Yeah. Why would, so true. I why would like, it be bad? There's nothing bad. It's not like they put, like, horse hooves or something in there. What? Come on, no, it's some what sunflower get about? butter. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. There's like, they have a ton of other flavors for humans. Yeah. <laughs> if it's good enough for my dog.
dog. Okay, if it doesn't have horse hooves in it, that. Brooke will eat it. Does Brooke just eat dog food? If I go to your house, there's <laughs> garbage can everywhere. Can you just give me the dog stuff? Hey. Ashley, our editor, made these doggy treats. Oh, my. You, you ate tasted them? one? Oh, oh my God, God. Brooke! Okay, okay. well, if, if hey, you like just Brooke, oatmeal and peanut butter. Oh, oh if you God. like Brooke and you want to get your hands on Ben and Jerry's dog ice cream, or it's going to hit stores now, nationwide <laughs> this month. Each four ounce cup costs three dollars, or it's five bucks for a four pack. Oh, that's See? not too bad. So I'm saying. This next laser. Ah, Brooke's like cheap too. <laughs> this next laser story is out of Survey World. A new survey looked at how much the average person would save if they never bought snacks. Oh and my gosh. Over the course of your life, it adds up to almost 30 grand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I would lose all of my friendships because I'd be a terrible person that <laughs> no one wanted to be around. Researchers found the average person spends $9.22 a week on snacks. Oh my God. Which seems like a pretty conservative no. estimate yeah. to me. I yeah. think so too. I, I think agree. that's high. Dude, my husband gets me all the time. He's like, oh, you went to the work vending machine again. I'm like, they were pistachios. <laughs> well, so $9.22 a week adds up to almost $500 a year or okay. $29,000 over the course of your entire adult life. Wow. Worth uh, it. Always worth it. Yeah, where's the survey about how much happiness it brings us? <laughs> yeah. Well, the survey also asked people about the weird food pairings that they would like to try mm. and the number one vote getter was french fries with mayo oh, oh yeah you haven't that tried way. that i have i've had it oh, i've had it at I french do. restaurants it's really good it's the only way to eat french really? fries oh my god it's so good 48 percent of people say they would try french fries with mayo after that oh, the other top should. strange food pairings we'd like to try include steak with ketchup yeah. Oh, I'm bad. It's yeah. not that bad. I hate ketchup. I'm Why? sorry. Another one that was high on this list 21% want cheddar cheese on apple pie. Yeah. Never tried that. I'd be open it. My favorite is pretzels dipped in sour cream. Oh, that actually doesn't oh sound, my God. That doesn't sound it's terrible. It's so good, you guys. Oh, what about okay. this one? Tuna salad with hot sauce. Yeah. Uh, no yeah, tuna yeah, salad yeah. at all. I can get that. What about, a, what about a tuna melt? How are you making hey. a tuna melt? XA tuna on the salad? tuna. Oh, I love it. I like oh. spicy tuna. And melted chocolate on pepperoni pizza. No. 14% oh, want no, 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 to try that. No, no, no. I'll no. go for it. I, I think the, I'm a sweet and salty yes, type of lady. sweet and salty oh could gosh. pair really well together. Give me a little can't drizzle. Let's talk. But speaking of strange <laughs> pairings, you can't see it right now, but oh, yeah. this little guy is on top of two different colored sandals. <laughs> Slow down there, dude. It's getting too weird. It means the laser stories has come to an end for the day. We're going to do it again, same time, on Friday.